I'm gonna turn my shirt backwards. Oh, oh, hello, hello! This is Nancy from Newswax Stomach Cast coming live to you once again. Uh, we know, we know here at Newswax Stomach Cast, we're very concerned for you plebeians. It's getting a little crazy out there, and so. And we also know there's not a lot of people giving very useful or effective scientific information. We here at Newswax Stomachcast figured we'd do just that for you. I winked with the wrong eye. You can't see this eye. There we go. Now I'll wink with this eye. So here, from us truly at Newswax Stomachcast, we bring you some live tips and tricks on how to be safe. shaking hands can be detrimental to sharing germs between one another, it's now common to bump elbows. However, some say that even bumping elbows is too much contact. Instead, try bumping your gams with the homies next time. Oh yeah, and, and don't look at people either. Where'd you go? I fell down. I don't feel your bumps anymore. Oh, where'd you go? Hey, hey, Mac, where'd you go? Did you fall? Okay, okay, I'm, I gotta go. I'll see you in a month. Of course, oh, it's no, supposed no, to come in a month. I'll see you then. Oh. The bathroom can be a very dangerous place. Infested with germs. Be careful not to touch anything in the room. Whoa, watch those gloves now. Great job. Now on to the sink while only using your elbows. Great, now wasn't that easy. Now onto the soap. Uh oh, where's the soap? <gasps> oh, there you are, you sly devil, you. Careful now, remember, only your elbows. Oh, there we go. Good job. It's best to sing the happy birthday song while washing your hands. Now don't be a fool like this man. Uh-oh! He accidentally hit his germ-covered protective gear. Let's try it one more time, shall we? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. To me. Okay. Yes, turn off the sink with your elbows. You remember? There you are, yes. You're almost done. Strangle it, there you go. Great job. Now that your hands all dry, dry the other. There you are, good job. You can stop drawing your hand now. That's it, almost there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you fool. There is no escape from the bathroom. <laughs> you are forever trapped in an eternity of germs. Boy, was that helpful. Here's another way you can ensure your survival of the germ apocalypse. Place a large plastic covering over all of your household furniture. Who says it's out of style? New Yorkers didn't, so why should we? Having trouble keeping all that plastic sterilized? Well, just tell your germ-collecting child it's an indoor slip and slide. <laughs> They'll never know the difference. <laughs> oh, child, when will you learn that your parents are right? <laughs> Now, old Gathunza here is going to give us a tour around the house. Gathunza is using the staple method of opening doors. Here's what your average laundry room should look like. Now, generally speaking, you're going to need minimum two people per room continually sanitizing and maintaining your entire home. Basically, you're going to need around 32 people minimum working around the clock. Now, remember, you can't be too safe around more than two people in a five mile radius. So there's that. And now the next trick. That was defi definitely an improvement. You know, another important tip to surviving out here is being aware of your enemies. See this stuff right here? 
Poop Raiders want it. That's right, you heard me. And you know, it's natural toilet paper. Hear that? They're coming. Save the leaves and the plants! Leaves and the leaves! I can never save it! No, we're coming from the ice! Leave! Leave from here, you creature! Back away! Back away! Uh-oh. Looks like she'll need to feign illness to get out of this one. <laughs> well, folks, looks like that's all the time we have today. We hope you learned something. We sure did. On behalf of the Newswax Stomach Cast News Team, thanks for watching. <laughs>